Giga Chikata versus uh, Alex Caceres. Lee, Bruce Leroy, that's got to be a beautiful stand-up fight, in my opinion. I'm sure you'd agree, George. No doubt. I mean, we have, uh, you know, two of kind of like, you know, the spirit of martial arts is strong in both of these guys. Both, both of them, you know, kind of like karate, traditional martial arts background, karate uh, for Giga, I think uh, you can see the stance, the similarity in, in, in Caceres. He's got a, a karate, taekwondo, uh, well, or, or should we say Jeet Kune Do, Jeet Kune Do, Jeet Kune Do, Jeet Kune Do uh, yeah. style, which, you know, Bruce Lee popularized that. And you do see some of that with Caceres. He's got a fusion style, obviously, kind of, uh, you know, MMA style, mixing it up between the uh, Jeet Kune Do, and then you got his karate and taekwondo style kicks. And then you have Giga, who's obviously, you know, a karate world champion, a very, like, karate-based fighter. But... Yeah who was trained in the Netherlands with some of the best kickboxers and Muay Thai fighters as well. So Giga's not your typical karate fighter. You know, he's very, he's very, he's very dynamic in his kickboxing ability and how to deal with a, a Muay Thai guy or how to deal with like a Dutch kickboxer. He's, he's showed that he can kind of handle all these different styles. And, and now here's a true test for Giga. He's fighting a very notable fighter, a veteran, a guy that, I think Caceres has had more fights. He's, he's like one of those guys that's had more fights than anybody else inside the octagon, you know? So this is going to be, I definitely agree, this is going to be like a, a stand-up uh, war. But if Caceres is smart, his, his game plan would be to, to take Giga to the ground because Caceres does have a, a pretty good ground game. And uh, I think that knowing his camp and knowing his coaches and stuff like that, actually, they're in South Florida. He started out in South Florida. His brother uh, still trains here in South Florida and Miami out of the uh, freestyle fighting. Um, uh, I'm confusing the gyms there. The, um, uh, there's, down in, in, uh, in Miami, they, they train together. Uh, Soul Fighters, the Soul Fighters gym. Confuse the name there. But uh, it's, it's a great gym, and that's kind of where he started. And now Caceres has traveled and trained all over the United States. He's trained with some of the best teams in Arizona, in California. So Caceres has really been around and he's got a depth of knowledge in the MMA. He is truly, I would say, well-rounded, you know, and that he is also a, a great grappler and submission artist as well. So this is going to be a tall order, uh, you know, for Giga. But I think that, I think he's, he's going to be ready to take this challenge. The names that he's fought, you got to have to scroll a long way down, my friend. A long <laughs> yes. way down. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> he's fought some names from Uriah Faber to Jason Knight, uh, Chrome Gracie, and Ooh. Yaya Rodriguez. I mean, yeah. that's some quality opponents. But I think Giga has a very good day. It's going to be a striking event, in my opinion. I, I think... Uh... First of all, wasn't Giga a glory champion? Yeah. That, uh, I mean, glory back in those days were, was a kickboxing equivalent to uh, the UFC pretty much. Not Muay Thai, but kickboxing equivalent of the UFC in, uh, in MMA. So that was, the, uh, that was the top organization well, still uh, in is. the world. So yeah, they're still, still glory, probably still is. Yeah. yeah, they're still going yeah. strong. They're doing, they're doing great. Probably That's is, the, yeah. Best kickboxers so, in the world. Yeah, absolutely. So to win the belt in there, of course, that tells you a lot about the person. And also, if this fight ends up being a stand-up battle, which it promises to be, because I don't think Kasser is going to have an easy time taking Giga down. Or even if he does, holding him down there, because I know Giga has been working, working on his – oh, my God. It's, he can so tell much. from every fight. Yeah, he's been because I saw him the first time I saw Giga fight in the MMA. Mm -hmm. I see I seen his fights before in the in Glory, but when I saw him the first time, uh, his first time, uh, first fight in the MMA was in Contender Series. Remember, he, he if you guys yes. remember, he lost. Austin he Springer. Lost in a sec, got second, choked in second. the end. He was whooping his ass. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. He was. He was so winning that. He, he was fighting a legit wrestler. That guy was a short, stocky guy, and he had a hard time getting up. But then when he actually entered the UFC, uh, I, I, saw, I, I saw the difference. I saw how much he had been working on the takedown defense. Yeah, it was so, incredible. No incredible. doubt. So as much yeah. as, much as uh, Ceres is a, you know, is a grizzled vet, no, no doubt. 
He's got some, uh, you know, he's, he's fought some, you know, who's who pretty much, as they say. But if it, if it ends up on a... Uh, on, a, on the feet, I mean, if you look at his past opponents in the UFC, even the legends like Uriah Faber and so on and so on, none of them have uh, credentials in striking like Giga does. I mean, say what you want, but it's just a fact. <clears throat> so, I mean, if it's uh, if he's able to keep this thing standing, I see uh, I see the finish. The Giga, the Giga uh, kick, the Giga the kick, famous, the the the, 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 the uh, left kick, liver, the, the left kick to the liver. Yeah, one for I the see alcoholics, that because... baby. One for the alcoholics. That liver is getting taken out. Yeah, they're gonna feel it. They're gonna yeah. feel a little bit more. They're yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he sure. catches him with the liver. Um, I mean, if he if he if he if he goes for a sloppy takedown, he could catch a knee too. And he, Giga's he, Giga's timing on those knees. You saw that in the last fight, man. He every time he uh, he uh, uh, he went for a flying knee, he connected. It's not, you know, nobody's fault that the fucking opponent was uh, tough as nails. He just wouldn't go down. But uh, yeah, not everybody can take those knees. Maybe very few people in the world can take those knees. So yeah, You're talking about Rivera, that. yeah, Irvin Rivera, George. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we're very biased when we talk about our guys. But that's that's what this podcast is all about. It's about supporting our boys, right? First and foremost. So uh, the fact that they gave uh, Giga the fight against – they could have given him anybody, but they gave him Caceres. So if you look at Caceres' build, his fight, fighting style, this tells me that UFC is kind of ab- abstractly telling Giga, listen, if you show us something in this fight, something special, we are ready to, oh. Oh, yeah. to get behind you because yeah. this what opponent is tailor-made. For yeah. Giga, yeah, to look it's good, to look good against, yeah, they, they're yeah. giving him a good opportunity here. If he jumps on it, man, that could that could turn into something else, something bigger. I think one one interesting thing is I don't have the reach the reach data, but Caceres is five nine, and Giga six foot, so we already yeah. have a few a few inches, you know, in in height. And not I a big difference, I remember George. Not a huge difference. Slight, but, slight, slight, um, slight for Giga, but not, not that. It's Giga the game of inches, my friend. Let me tell you something. That's not what she said. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys so, always uh, leave me satisfied and laughing. That's what <laughs> she said. <laughs> inch can make a difference, but, you know, sometimes it's how you use that inch. So... It's 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 uh, like I like you like the like a great man said uh, once. Uh, it's not about the size of the sword; it's about how well you can use it. There you go. Right. Well, in in that case, Giga is going to have multiple swords coming at Caceres. Yeah. Bro, I wanted to mention his getup, his outfit uh, after the last fight when he yeah. won. I I loved his fucking outfit. That guy has fucking style, man. You talking about Leroy? That, oh. Homeboy has style. No, Giga. He he was wearing he he was wearing the beanie like a Leon style from oh, the, like professional. the professional. Yes, Jesus. I loved it, man. I loved it so much. I was like, that's. I mean, that we need to, we need to get this guy a press conference and let him talk and you know show off his charisma because he he's got one, man. 